up, Taurus? Getting ready to do another love reading for you. This is for, um, I'm going to make this about the person on your mind. So we'll be centered around the person on your mind, new or old, whoever this person is, you will know. So this is for the lovely sign of Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and it may not resonate with every Taurus out there. And keep in mind, you guys, this is a general. As always in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers. This very well may play out from your perspective. So just apply it how it fits for you. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. So tell me about Taurus's person, the person on their mind. What is the energy for Taurus's person? Tell me about their person. Okay, so we have Nine of Swords, Ten of Spears, Page of Spears, Six of Spears, the Priestess. What's up, Pisces? Eight of Cups, Ten of Coins, the Hierophant. What's up, Taurus? Some of you are watching. And Queen of Cups. Okay, by a lot of the um, positions of this card, right now I can tell you guys are doing a lot of healing. Okay, um, whenever I get a lot of reversals, that's always an indicator to me that someone's going through a lot of healing in their life. Okay, so I feel like Taurus is perhaps going through a lot of healing. Um, bottom of the deck, we have four of coins in reverse. This is about letting go about releasing. So purging what's not serving you, um, letting go of things that are not working in your life. Um, and also opening up, you know, talking to people, opening up, letting go of, you know, being closed off or blocked off and not really expressing your feelings. So I feel like Taurus right now might be really just opening up a little bit more in order to let go of things that they may have been holding onto that may have been contributing to pain for them. Okay. Because in the recent past, I do see like there was a situation they may have felt stuck in, okay? They may have been very worried, may have had a lot of anxiety here. Um, a situation that they may have gone through that may have been very traumatic, okay? I do feel like this situation is over. Um, I do feel like, you know, the worst has happened. And I feel like right now they're trying to improve on improving their life, you know, because what happens when you hit rock bottom, you can't go no lower. Right. So I definitely feel like right now they're really focusing on the mentality that I'm improving my life. There's no other option for me. I also see here with the page of spears, um, and really an energy of, I feel like in the recent past, they may have not been taking so much direction which may have created a lot of conflict. Okay. Um, you know, some of them could have been stuck in a very unhappy relationship, but I feel like whatever they've gone through, it's like right now, the whole focus of their life is to just improve, improve, not staying stuck anymore, not settling. Okay. Why is the nine of swords here? Please tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Yeah, see, I feel like there was someone who they had emotions for that really hurt them. Um, someone could have betrayed them. This isn't ending here. Um, and I feel like, you know, for a long time, they could have been stuck in a situation where they didn't know how to get out of it. I feel like this ending was very traumatic. Okay. Um, I do feel like this is someone that they did hold a cup of love for. But I feel like right now, um, they're trying to fix this energy. Okay. Page of Spears, please. Why is this here? What's up, Sagittarius? Um, but yeah, there's definitely someone here who I feel that they were very imbalanced over. Um, they may have there. They may have been connecting with someone who may have been an alcoholic or someone who was a drug addict, someone who was very imbalanced, um, even abusive. Sometimes the temperance in reverse can be a very abusive energy. Why is the temperance here, please? So, like I said, some of them could have gone through a traumatic experience. Yeah, there could have been a lot of what's up, Cancer. There could be oh Capricorn. <laughs> I didn't mean that negatively. If you're a Capricorn. <laughs> um, there could have been a situation that they had to release themselves from with the, the Capricorn energy here, the devil. Um, they free, they may have freed themselves the situation that were, they were tied to. Um, but I feel like they may have kept some secrets here. Definitely feel like there was some confusion and fears and misunderstandings here, but they're releasing it. 
they're definitely released it. Okay. Clarify the Ten of Spears. Oh, I forgot to say, what's up, Capricorn? <laughs> Clarify Ten of Spears, please. Yeah. Yeah, see, there was a situation that was not successful. Six of Wands, please. Tell me about Taurus. Six of Wands, please. Ooh! Yeah, but see, they're determined to overcome this. I definitely feel like they've gone through an ending. Something was not successful. They may have lost something. Some of them could have lost a job. But I'm happy that I have the Knight of Wands energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Because the Knight of Wands is the bravest knight in the deck. This is definitely someone who takes action, um, is adventurous, and most of all, fearless. So this is a very brave person. So I feel like no matter what they've gone through, they're not letting anything hold them back. They're not letting anything hold them down. Um, they're persevering. Okay, they're definitely persevering. Um, they're doing what they got to do. Okay. Currently, I feel like, you know, continuing with this loss, I feel like they're just being a little bit secretive. Okay, I feel like right now they're in pursuit of their um, ninth cup. I feel like they may have had to disconnect from certain people. Um, maybe people that were tied to their ex. They've had to cut people off. Um, I feel like right now they're being very secretive. Um, and I feel like they're not out in the public. So I feel like they're not really going out as much as they usually do. Um, I definitely feel like they're just being very secretive. They're walking away. Okay. They're trying to find for some of you, if you know, if it's on the reverse side and this is, you are someone who is connecting with the Taurus and, you know, maybe the position was reverse and this is someone you had a lot of love for and you really cared about. Um, I do feel like this is someone who maybe walked away from you very secretively, but I don't feel like it was a positive decision, a positive outcome. Clarify six of spheres here. Why is this here? Please tell me about Taurus. Yeah, see, what's up, Pisces? Again, they're just being very secretive. Um, secret agenda. They're not feeling like they're at their best, so they're trying to come up with a secret agenda. Yeah, and I feel like, what's up, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Um, the Queen of Swords. This is someone who can be cold or bitter, but she's also very perceptive, um, very clear-minded. So I definitely feel like right now they're very indifferent. So I feel like they're not really... They may have detached from you, but they're still aware. Clarify the, the priestess, please. And the magician. Yeah, see, they're being very secretive while they're trying to make something happen. Yeah. For some of you, this Taurus could have ghosted you. Or someone toast ghosted a Taurus, and this broke their heart. This broke their heart. Um, but with the magician here, I definitely feel like, you know, yeah, I feel like someone may have tried to create something or build something, um, master something. Someone may have ghosted another person, and I feel like this person's trying to adapt to it, adapt to it, so I feel like they're just being very secretive. Clarify Eight of Cups, please. Why is this here? Yeah, for some of you, this Taurus may have um, moved or up and left and maybe didn't tell you or you were surprised to find out that this Taurus moved. For some of these Tauruses, they may have wanted to move because they, they have um, conflict with people around them or they don't want conflict where they live at, okay? So they could, you know, maybe their neighbors, they have could have conflict with their neighbors, Um but I definitely feel like this is this is someone who's walking away and I feel like they're trying to pick up the pieces to their life. Okay. Going forward, I feel like this is someone who's trying to work on their stability in life. Okay. I feel like if you guys are dealing with a tour, you know, you've obviously you are, but this is someone who could be very hard headed. Um, I do feel like there's something that they may have disconnected from with the 10 of coins here. 
I do feel like, you know, they have a lack of stability right now in their life. And I feel like right now they're really just not focusing on commitment. I feel like they're just doing things their own way, marching to the beat of their own drum. And with the Queen of Cups here, this is someone who's really trying to restore themselves, really trying to improve them themselves. Clarify the Ten of Coins, please. Why is this here? Tell me about Taurus. Yeah, see, judgment. For some of them, they've been making really... I, I feel like they've been making really bad financial decisions. And with the judgment here, they could be behind on their mortgage or their house note. And they're really starting to open their eyes to their bad habits. Clarify judgment, please. Yeah, they want to get to financial freedom. So a lot of them could be worried about getting financial freedom, feeling like they're drowning in debt. Okay, but I also feel like going forward, um, this is someone reflecting on the past and trying to make the most out of all their experiences that they've gone through in order to improve their life. Clarify Hierophant, please. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, see, this is someone who may not be ready for a commitment at this moment in time. I feel like they are moving on. Um, they're transitioning in their life, but I feel like they may not be ready for a relationship at this moment in time. So if you just started talking to a Taurus recently, um, or, you know, in the last six months or so, this is someone who could be having issues because they were really hurt in the past. So I feel like, you know, they may have ghosted you or may have hurt you. But this was not their intention. This is someone who I feel like may not be ready at this moment in time. But I feel like right now they're gradually healing. Because their intention is to get to their emotions balance. This is Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Clarify Queen of Cups, please. Why is this here? What's up, Leo? Yeah, see, I feel like there is a weakness and it slid neutral. So I definitely feel like... um you know, right now they're still conquering some demons. They're still conquering what they need to do. So I feel like they still have things that they need to work on. But for the most part, they're staying focused. The strength, please. Yeah, because they still feel a little weak. Okay, they still feel exhausted. Um... And I feel like right now their biggest focus is to heal themselves, to go further in life, okay? Tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please. It says outcome. Even though you are experiencing many obstacles, you will survive any and all conditions. Many lessons learned, the results of your experience are presenting their reward. So this Taurus is, you know, maybe you or them are focusing on the outcome. Okay, just know that um, even though there's obstacles, these obstacles are creating lessons, okay, to get the outcome that you desire and security. You are about to enter a part of life where you can now relax and enjoy. Beginning of prosperity and successful ventures. A sense of security developing with career, finances, relationship, and self. Okay. Self-care. And I also feel like more so, you know, where you can feel safe or secure with someone. Because I feel like, you know, Taurus may be not as receptive or not as um, open. Because I feel like they want to feel like they can trust you or be secure with you before they open up with you. Okay. For those of you who haven't spoken to your Taurus in um, some time, what message would Taurus like to tell this person from their higher self, please? What message would Taurus like to tell this person from their higher self, please? Ooh, right off the bat. It says, you still hold a piece of my heart. So just so that this person still thinks of you, um, a part of your heart, you know, is with, or <laughs> you still hold a piece of their hearts. So they still think of you. They still reflect on you. Um, they carry a little bit of you wherever they go. What other message with this person? Songs are speaking to me right now. So maybe you guys have like a song that reminds you, um, 
of each other, or there's a song that's associated with the memory, um, something that is just very significant. So I feel like they're listening to music and they're thinking of you. Okay. What other message, please? One other message, please. What would Taurus like to tell her person here? We go. Okay. It says it all comes down to timing. Um, so yeah, it all just comes down to timing. I feel like they're doing what they got to do to fix themselves, to get to a more stable place in order to go forward in love. Okay. And I feel like that's pretty much most, mostly for the collective. I definitely feel like people are healing, preparing themselves because the worst thing you can ever do is, um, not heal from a situation or just go on a rebound connection because you're going to bring karmic residue to the next connection. So it's always best to heal and get yourself in a, a, um, a better place. Okay. It's never good to relationship hop person to person, um, or especially get out of a long-term commitment or marriage and then go to another connection right away. you got to release, you got to love your, ooh, love yourself. Oh my gosh. That did not sound good. That sounded terrible. Love yourself and just get to a better place. Okay. All right, so I, um, what message do we have in regards to Taurus? Tell me about Taurus, please. What is the energy of Taurus, please? It says bliss, contentment, satisfaction, and security. Okay, and I did have that here too, security. I definitely feel like right now they're just wanting to, they do want to be happy. Okay, they do want to feel, feel content. They want to feel blissful. I feel like this, romant this Taurus is very romantic. But they also want to make sure that they can trust someone. They want to feel like they can have a sense of security. Um, they don't want to just open up to anyone, okay, is what I feel here. They're very selective right now because I feel like their guards are up. Um, and they don't want to just let anyone in. So for those of you, I know this can get a little bit deep sometimes. So I'm going to send you guys off with a rebel deck message to lighten up the mood and raise up those vibrations. Tell me about what message you have for the cross watcher of Taurus, please. What message you have for the cross watcher? Oh my goodness. He's giving me two. There we go. Okay. It says, be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. And yes, shit could always be so much more worse than, um, you know, sometimes people are so unappreciative, but it, someone else in this world has it worse off than you. It says, you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power and your voice. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. Okay. So yeah, you know, be selective, um, speak up, speak out, um, stand for an initiative, stand for a cause. Um, and don't waste your time, okay? So, you guys, I'm going to leave it here, Cross Watchers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, comment and say hi. Um, I wish you guys love and light, and I will talk with you all later. Bye, Cross Watchers. <laughs>